Welcome to the pitch competition finale. The hope is that all of these shows make their way to your TV screen sometime soon. I'll bring up the judges and then we'll get right into it. Leading up to the pitch and to like the first moment on stage, I was so nervous. Bodice Rippers is about two very different women who collide while running from their loveless lives. I mean, as we all know, the best friendships are the ones born from a bathroom crisis. <laughs> But like, once I got that first laugh, I was able to relax into it. Little Italy is a love letter to my family, uh, disguised as a half hour comedy about the mob. The pitch competition, I had such a blast. A lovely environment, so supportive, so ripe and rife with talent. I've worked as a journalist and filmmaker covering conflicts and humanitarian crises. Every pitch, I want to watch that show. Could you speak to sort of like the episodic scope? Oh, yes. I think with each episode, we have a cliffhanger. Is there danger? Danger? Yeah. Absolutely. I'm curious what kind of New York this is. There's gritty New York, and then there's like Emily in Paris's version of Paris. <laughs> Ali's profession in it is also selling fake perfume, so... That's... Fake perfume New York. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> I sort of wanted to hear a through line that was going to like grab me and pull me in. Yeah. It felt like a movie actually, for a lot of it. I thought the same thing. I was like, where is this go? I thought it was very clean, and I see the, I see the market for it. I saw the market, but it's definitely a very marketable show. Our runner-up today is Bodice Rippers! <laughs> Hearing Bodice Rippers as the runner-up, it felt like I just got, like, shocked into being put into my own body, and um, it was such a pleasant surprise, and I was so thrilled and honored. I write so I can feel connected. You know, here's here's all my feelings about all of the things. Am I crazy? Do you feel that way? You do? Great, we're not crazy. Have you ever fantasized about getting pushed up against a wall? I love telling stories about earnest, vulnerable women at the crossroads of obligation and desire. I hope by telling funny stories about women working through that, those stories can be a break from the non-stop messages women get about how we're lacking or not enough or don't deserve to feel like we're enough. And our winner of the pitch competition is Little Italy! I was just so surprised to be announced. Writing and storytelling are so magical and transformative. Words have such power. They've really helped me unlock doors to myself and the world around me. My first name, Nikki, in Latin means from New Jersey. <laughs> and that's kind of all you need to know about me, other than I am a non-binary, queer, second-generation, Italian-American millennial writer and comedian, okay? Grew up queer neurodivergent in a very neurotypical straight family. So finding connection through writing helped me feel a lot less isolated and disconnected. I love writing characters who try so hard to fit in um, and they can't. And that's like what makes them them in a happy way. The festival felt like being at television camp. You could see everybody's like inner television child. Just happy to fan. <laughs> ATX was fun and supportive. It wasn't schmoozy or pretentious or intimidating. And ATX just really made me proud of being a member of this industry and this craft and our form. Congratulations to all of our finalists for making it this far in the competition. Our official airline of ATX Festival, Southwest Airlines, has a fun surprise. Southwest supports creatives who are on the rise and looks to provide them with a lift in their careers. As a way to celebrate you guys, Southwest would like to offer you all rapid rewards bonus points that you can use for your next flight. So basically, free flight! Yeah.